In 1907, the state of California and its university established the Citrus Experiment Station and Graduate School of Tropical Agriculture in Riverside. For nearly 100 years, these stately buildings have looked out over a square mile of research fields toward the city and the world beyond. Work done here gave renewed life to the region's sole industry and laid the technical groundwork that helped spawn new agricultures as well as new industries. But what is most important to us now is the way the unique needs of an exotic fruit transplanted to an untested land spawned research that soon went far beyond the bounds of traditional agriculture. In areas like groundwater pollution, air pollution, virology, even to economics and engineering, to put the University of California Riverside decades ahead of other institutions in the environmental and life sciences and make it a model for synergistic research. Today, the University of California Riverside brings to the city over 18,000 students and over $100 million in research grants. But equally important, the University of California Riverside is continually retooling, bending its strengths back toward the needs of its locale and its people. Today, in an experiment that combines the power of the arts and urban planning, UCR will soon dedicate the final component of its arts block in downtown Riverside, the Culver Center of the Arts. Arts block will give the city of Riverside major exhibition, installation, performance, and workshop space. It will change the quality of the cultural, intellectual, and artistic life of the city by encouraging local artists and participants and bringing to Riverside the finest and most challenging art and performance from around the world. Today, the faculty of UCR's Graduate School of Education lead in developing new methods of teaching and new ways of learning to bring to the workforce the rich potential of Southern California's newer, greater diversity. What I'm finding in my own research is that a good kid is a busy kid. Uh, a successful child is, is a child who's engaged in school and motivated. More broadly, in the School of Education, we're concerned about issues of inequality, and we're trying to bring both a theoretical and a research-based focus to create information that can be directly applicable in the schools, whether that has to do with developing reading skills and fluency in reading, or whether it has to do with becoming um, more capable of, of achieving in mathematics. The applied research that we're doing at UC Riverside in the School of Education is having a direct impact on our, our, the communities that we serve. In the realm of business, UCR has always drawn on the needs of local leadership to focus its research. Today, the campus is returning that accumulated knowledge and many new tricks as well, directly to the business community. Included in our offerings are also non-degree programs targeted at business people, individuals interested in developing their skills and their knowledge in such areas as supply chain management, audit and assurance, carpet governance, entrepreneurship, finance, marketing in other areas. At the Anderson School, we're not just about training managers. We're not just about educating individuals to be leaders in their businesses. In the Anderson School, we're interested in creating leaders who will not only lead their companies but who will also be leaders in their communities. For decades, UCR's vaunted achievements in the life sciences have been laying the foundation for further achievement in the most essential of those sciences, human health. There's a lot of exciting research going on at UCR on biomedical sciences. We have faculty in many different departments across several different colleges doing exciting research on diabetes, cancer, atherosclerosis, and with stem cells. We have faculty in psychology looking at feeding behavior. We have people in neuroscience looking at brain waves during epilepsy and sleep. We've got stem cell biologists trying to find a cure for osteoporosis. We have people in cell biology who work with the bioengineers to create a human 3D organ skin culture. And we've got people in biomedical sciences who surprisingly have found that the prolactin, the maternal growth hormone, may actually play a role in prostate cancer. We've got people in chemistry who work on DNA repair and metabolomics. In my own lab in cell biology and neuroscience, we work on two organs, 
One is the colon, where we're trying to find a new biomarker for early stage colon cancer, and the other is the liver, which is the second largest organ in the body, skin being the first. And with that, we're trying to decipher the role of liver in diabetes and obesity. We'll keep you posted on all these and other great findings. For over 100 years, the University of California Riverside has looked out over this valley and watched it change. From an agricultural community concerned with a single product to a mega community that must confront the complex realities of a whole world if it is to continue to prosper. 100 years later, the needs of those who have supported UCR so exceptionally are just as central to its mission. Together, we will keep the promise of our shared future because we live that promise every day. The University of California Riverside has a proud and rich heritage. And as Abe Lincoln once said when he established the land-grant universities, we are indeed a people's university. Our future is bright and the need is great. We have academic programs that matter in business and engineering, in education and science, in agriculture, in medicine, and in the humanities and the arts. We are also blessed by a community that cares and cares deeply, one that invests its advice, invests its time, and invests in resources, allowing us to achieve a better future.